Hello, my name's Sam and I'm one of the Community Diabetes Educators working with Liverpool Diabetes Partnership. In this short video, I'm going to talk about HbA1c. What is HbA1c? H1C is known as glycated haemoglobin. When you have diabetes, your body isn't able to process the glucose, which often people refer to as sugar, in your blood. When we have high glucose levels in our blood, this will then stick to our red blood cells, which makes our HbA1c. The more glucose we have floating around, which we're not able to utilise in our cells, the more it's going to get attached to our red blood cells and the higher our HbA1c will be. With a higher HbA1c, we have an increased risk of developing complications related to diabetes. We only monitor the HbA1c blood test every 8 to 12 weeks. This is become the lifespan of a red blood cell is approximately 8 to 12 weeks. After this time, our bodies destroy the red blood cells and replace them with new. So with the new blood cells, you will get a new HbA1c. If your HbA1c is within your individualised target, your nurse might only request it gets recorded every six months. Please make sure you do a 10 for blood test when you're requested to do so, as it is important. So what do the numbers mean? Targets can be individualised to people according to age, frailty and other health conditions they might have. Most people would aim for a target of between 48 and 58. Between 58 and 75 it would be considered to be above target and above 75 we consider your HP one to see to be high. When you attend for your reviews, always ask the nurse what your number is. Then ask for what your target would be. And thirdly, ask what it was last time. Is there some improvement noted? Even if not at target, any improvement is going to help reduce your risk of complications. Can you improve your hp one c Absolutely. And you can do it in various ways. First of all, we'd always be looking at your diet. Have things slipped? Has your carbohydrate portions become larger? Are you double carbing at meals? It's often, to get, it's often easy to slip into these ways without realising it. So looking at diet is always a good first line. Regular exercise will also help improve your HbA1c. When we exercise, it allows the passage of glucose from our blood and into our blood cell into our cells without using insulin. Regular exercise will have a big impact. Exercise doesn't have to be in the gym and vigorous, it can be day-to-day -day walking, housework and gardening. Thirdly is medication. Are you taking the medication prescribed? Are you taking it as prescribed? If not, why not? Have this discussion with your nurse. And it might be the medication you want or that is no longer effective and might need to be changed or doses might need to be increased. I hope you found this video useful. For more information, please follow Liverpool Diabetes Partnership online as shown on this slide.